As a medical student, I had the amazing experience to observe uh, a treatment called electroconvulsive therapy or ECT. And ECT is a very important treatment for depression uh, and it's an important uh, way of preventing suicide. It's also very rapidly effective in treating uh, serious conditions such as catatonia, which is where a person um, stops eating and they, they can't speak or move. It's a very serious condition. So when I was a medical student, I had a patient with catatonia, and I was just learning about it, and that patient had ECT. And after the first morning of her ECT, she could talk again. And it was just amazing. It was really miraculous. And I thought, I've got to learn more about this. Uh, so I asked my attending, uh, Dr. Rich Weiner, who still runs the ECT program here, you know, how did that happen? How does it work? What is it doing? Uh, and he said, well, actually, we don't completely know all of the answers about how ECT works. And so that's what got me interested in working in the field of brain stimulation, not just with ECT, but now we have a whole range of new technologies that are even safer and less invasive that use magnetic fields. Uh, that's what we do in the lab down the hall, transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS. I remember uh, going to the FDA panel hearing where they were considering whether to approve this for depression, and one of my own patients was, uh, was giving testimony at this FDA hearing, and I got to give testimony too. Uh, and the result of that was that it actually got approved. And now we have this whole new option. We can tell our patients, well, you could have psychotherapy, you, have, you could have medications, you could have magnetic stimulation, or we could go to something like ECT. To be able to offer that new treatment option that's less invasive and has good evidence of efficacy, it's, it's really rewarding to have been part of that whole process uh, that made it clinically available today.